My name is Rose Amador LeBeau. I am president and CEO of CTC. Our mission is to help people through employment and education become self-sufficient. We have a day worker center. We have educational programs so people can get their GEDs. We serve a variety of people, people who've just become unemployed, people who have never worked. We work with homeless people. We work with people who have just gotten out of prison and have to re-enter the workforce. So we're full service. I think it's seeing people make the change, become successful, uh, make that transition, and actually having an impact on people's lives, a positive impact. To see these success stories is what it's all about. I'm Siwapili Rose Amador LeBeau, and this is Native Voice TV. We're here at the Presidio in San Francisco on location for a grand opening of a, a series of picnics we're going to have in the park here. And I'm here with Tony Serda, who's going to be doing the opening ceremony for the event. Hi, Tony. Hi, how are you doing? Tell, tell us about you and your tribe, and what are you going to do today? Uh, oh, we're going to be sharing some of our culture and some of our things that we do. So and which tribe is it? We're the Coast and Honor Rams and Carmel tribe. We're uh, uh, Ohlone, Ohlone people. And your people are from the coast, obviously. Yeah, we're from the coast. Uh, in fact, we have our lineages go to Carmel, Santa Cruz, and Mission Dolores. Our, okay. our, uh -huh. our seventh generation great-grandfather was Sumu. Sumu was the head of the chiefs that went on the San Carlos ship at Angel Island in 1776. Uh -huh. Okay. And he was from Kupan. And um, you're going to dance and give a blessing to the opening of the ceremony yes. today? Mm -hmm. And do you normally come up here for that type of event? I know your granddaughter dances with you now. Yeah, they're, they're, they're always here. Uh, we come up whenever uh, we need to come up. So they asked us to come up and do this, and so we came up. I've been coming here since about 93 when it, we started doing ceremonies here to uh, open up the, the marsh because it used to be covered with asphalt. Mm. And I was here on the project when we were cleaning that up and making it back into a marsh. Which is a marsh is, is a life for the bay and a lot of people at that time they didn't know that. They, they, that's why they covered them up and then they found out that the bay, the bay is dying because the water comes in and picks up the food for the bay. And when there's no marsh, uh -huh. it, it doesn't take any food out. So they're finally finding that out. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So um, are you, you're the, the chairman of your tribe? Yeah. How long have you been the chairman? Since 93. Oh, for a long time then. Well, no. How many members? Two years. We get elected uh -huh. every two years. How many members in your tribe? It's a little over 2,000 of us. Oh, there's quite of a few. Of course, there's some, come, some new ones come in and some of the older ones. Mm -hmm. they, they pass on across over there. So you, you start the kids dancing when they're very young, obviously. Oh, right? yeah. No, they, they, they've been dancing all the time. Mm -hmm. We've always done ceremonies down there mm -hmm. because, see, we traveled down to Southern California in 1863. And so my great-grandfather was born down there when we were born down there. So we always had our, our nucleus of our tribe there in Southern California. They went down to Pasadena. When they left this area, they left from San Jose. Oh, okay. Because my Uncle Philip was baptized in San Jose in, in, uh, in 1863. And then my, my great-great-grandmother, her name was Ramona Silva, she got married to Dolores Rodriguez, who was a Cahuilla from down there in, in uh, 1865. Mm -hmm. So that's in between there is when when we transitioned down there. So we've been there together ever since. Oh, good. And do you sp still speak the language? Uh, we don't speak the language. We, we, we do uh, learn it, mm -hmm. but uh, it's something that we, 
we we lost. You know that that's the first thing they took away from us. Uh, uh, yes. Uh huh. And so they taught us Spanish. I know. And then the schools took the Spanish away. <laughs> 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 they took everything away. Right, well, at least you right. still you're bringing the dance back, the ceremonies back, and you've right. retained that. Right, right. Right. That's great. Yeah, because the, the, the ceremonies were lost. Okay, and the dances were lost with the with the missions. But then with the secularization of the missions, they started bringing them back little by little. Mm -hmm. And so that's the time that we went down to Southern California. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, we're looking forward to uh, the opening ceremony today oh, and seeing you out there. And uh, we see you around town. And we saw you at the Mexica ceremony mm -hmm. and uh, different events. So um, mm -hmm. nice to see you, Tony. Thank you oh, for thank being you. here. And we're looking forward to it. All right. Thank you very much. Welcome. Now we're here with Matt from Off the Grid, and he's going to tell us about the event we're going to have here today. So what is it, Matt? <laughs> so uh, Presidium Picnic has been going on for the last five years. Uh, the goal is for it to be the most amazing experience in the world, really. Uh, it's located on the main post of the Presidio Trust, uh, and it happens every Sunday from now uh, in March until the end of October uh, from 11 to 4 p.m. So it's been going on. So is it mainly the local community that comes out, or do you have tourists, or both? Um, it's really uh, a wide cross section of people. So we really, really try hard to spread the message to all different areas of San Francisco by trying to be inclusive of different cuisines and also uh, make make it as interesting a choice as you can uh, for the choices that you have. Uh, on top of that, uh, it, it's a lot of tourists have tended to come uh, because it is a pretty unique experience in San Francisco. So do you have different themes that you use and, and what are those themes for this year? So this year is all about uh, trying to be as inclusive and diverse as we possibly can. So we're partnering with the trust for them to program different uh, cultural themes once a month uh, in conjunction with the event experience. So that'll be that'll be once a month. Uh, you can find out information at presidiopicnic.com. Uh, we're starting today with the Ohlone uh, opening ceremony and then we're kind of going from there. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, we try and represent as many culinary backgrounds as we possibly can. Uh, uh, Filipino, uh, Latin American cuisines, uh, Indian, uh, we are all, quite literally all over the place. Oh, how nice! So, yeah. And then you have entertainment from different cultures as well? Yeah, so uh, it's, it's less a kind of show kind of experience and more a lounge experience. We try and be multi-generational, so uh, the experience of people come out is really about, uh, you'll see people with young kids, uh, with grandparents there, the young people uh, who are out having a good time. Uh, it's really a, a huge cross-section of the San Francisco Bay Area community. Uh, so, if you make changes to this event, what would you like to do or what would you like to see? So, so over the course of this season, we, we do uh, add additional food vendors over the course of the year. And one of the things we would really love is people to apply who have a, are bringing a Native American culinary perspective to our event. And so if there are people out there, we encourage them to go to presidiopicnic.com. And if they have an interest in serving food and representing Native American culinary traditions, we'd love to see them. Presidiopicnic.com. That's it. Presidiopicnic.com. Thank you Come very much. Come join us. We, we would love to have you here.
was our entrance song. And we're here to welcome you to our homeland. <clears throat> That's where our seventh generation great grandfather Sumu is from the Bay Area. And so we're welcoming you to our area here, our, our homeland. So the next song that we're going to sing, is, I'll, I'll explain to you a little bit why we came in there, the way we came in. We came in counterclockwise. That's our eternal life cycle. And that's why we came in that way, to turn the clock back for that we can do our ceremony. And we set up the center of the universe, so that shell represents there. Because our people always dance on the brink of the universe. So we're gonna move back what we did a while ago to set up the center of the universe. So that's what we're dancing now. <coughs> when we dance, we dance in a life cycle. So we dance clockwise. So this first dance that we're gonna do is gonna be to honor the life givers, <coughs> the women, the one that brought us to this world, took care of us when we were babies, and they're still taking care of us now. So to honor the, the women, that's it. <coughs> are going to be our first song. and think, what do they do for us? They do so much for us. The first thing they do is they teach us how to give of ourselves, because they give us so much. They give us lumber for our homes, wood for our fires. They give us paper, they give us pencils. All these things they do, a shade to sit under when you're warm. So many things that the most important thing they do is they take our breath and they took it in and they took it down through their roots down so that our mother earth knows us we have been been breathing through those trees so our mother earth she knows who we are and she knows where we're from and what they do back for us they take that back out and give it to us as oxygen so that we may live without that oxygen we wouldn't be able to live on this earth so we got to thank those trees and this is our prayer for the trees we're gonna thank them we're going to sing an acorn song Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
next song that we're going to sing is our prayer for the water. <laughs> the water is so important that water is to us. It's so important that our mother carries us for nine months where we were even born in water. We're made like 90% water. So that's how important that is to us. We have to drink everything on this planet. This is a water planet. Everything on this earth needs water. And it's, everything is part water, mostly water. So we got to pray to the water. You know, this is like the, o the waves of the ocean coming in to the beach. And we're calling to our sixth generation great grandfather. His name was Shanai. He was from the village of Eshlat in the Carmel Mountains, a 2,000 year old village. And we call him to come and join us. I know in our language, he's come here. Awesha! 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 So the next song that we're going to do is the Umaya. or singing is all prayers. So to carry our prayers up to the Creator, we're going to do an eagle song.
Just dance like the bears. <laughs> There's a real bear right there in front of you. Just, like, just like that dance like him.